Elementary school students in Moses Lake got a new educational tool that will help them not only learn an important skill, but could also show them how to help a classmate or a family member during a medical emergency. At Confluence Health's Moses Lake Clinic, school district staff and medical professionals came together to celebrate the addition of eight CPR mannequins. The school district used a $400 grant from Confluence and a $300 grant from the North Central Educational Services District to pay for the mannequins, which show how to properly perform CPR and also correctly perform mouth-to-mouth resuscitation and how to use automated defibrillators. School district nurse Liz Prey talked about how the idea for getting the mannequins came about. Last year we actually started... um, I went in with a fourth grade class that one of the teachers approached me up in the office because he was looking for something to do with his students. He thought they were burnt out from all the testing that fourth grade goes through and all that. Um, And he goes, I think I'm just going to walk down to Dairy Queen. And I said, well, why don't you let me come in and teach hands-only CPR to the students? And so he's like, okay. Well, we borrowed mannequins from the Moses Lake Fire Department and we borrowed mannequins from Chief Moses Middle School. And from there, we went in and taught the class. And it's a hands-only CPR class. We figured fourth grade would be a good age because they're able to do the chest compressions. So Mrs. Weiland, the PE teacher over at Garden Heights, actually approached me and said, hey, I'm interested in doing some safety things in with the PE class. And we submitted the paperwork and actually received the first grant for the $300. So the original plan was to purchase four mannequins, one set. That's when I remembered that Confluence Health does a community donation grant. And so I called over here, we filled out the paperwork, and the doctors were actually very excited that we were going to do something like this. And so they gave us an additional $400. So between the $700, we were able to purchase eight mannequins, and uh, we will be taking those out to the students. And it's actually going to be a good thing, you know, because the students can actually take that safety message back to the community, you know, and the likelihood of them actually using the hands-only CPR is probably higher than myself. So it's actually a good, it'll be a good program. It's a lot of fun. Prey said the mannequins eight. will be put to oh, use in training yeah. students and so faculty members starting in February. In Moses Lake, Devin Higgins for iFiber One News.